This video is for anyone who either is or is considering getting an injection mold manufactured offshore. And what you'll learn in this video is how specifying parting line locations is especially critical when you're getting your molds built offshore. My name is Brian Stoyer, and I'm the president of Packrim Manufacturing. In this roughly three minute video, you'll learn precisely why it's so important to specify parting line locations and some of the best practices for doing so. So if you're getting a mold built in the United States, it's fairly likely that the company that's building your mold will ask you questions about how the parts used, where are cosmetic surfaces, etc. And they may simply volunteer to you where they're proposing to put the parting lines so that you can make sure that works for you. However, when you're dealing with an offshore manufacturer, unless you specifically ask them to identify where they're gonna put those parting lines, they're going to assume they can put them wherever they want. And they're likely to put them in a place that makes the mold easiest to build and lowers their cost. The problem with that is those parting lines could be running right across a highly cosmetic area or an area where having a parting line there either prevents you from making modifications in the future or prevents you from having certain features you want or for them functioning properly. Bottom line is, if those parting lines are in certain places where you simply can't have them, you may find out when you get your first articles that you've got a mold you cannot use, which means you've thrown away all the money you've spent on the mold and you've lost valuable weeks, which is likely to impact the, how long it takes you to get to market. So, how do you prevent such a surprise? We use a tool like the one that you're looking at here. This is part of a document we call a DFM analysis. And as you can see on the screen here, if you follow my little cursor, you can see where we've identified where the parting line is recommended to be on this part. And the customer can take a look at that and say, yes, that works. Or they can come back and say, no, we'd like to see it over in another location. So using a simple tool like this can potentially save you a great deal of time and money. I hope this information has been helpful to you. If you have any questions or would like to discuss it further, please contact us at info at and we'd be happy to discuss it with you further. Thank you.